Hello, everyone. I hope you all are fine amid this COVID-19 crisis. And as you can see in the screen, I have uh, opened virtual lab in Google. Just type uh, virtual lab in Google. And uh, the first thing that comes over here is your virtual lab setup uh, website. This is an initiative uh, by the uh, Ministry of Education. Over here, you can do all sorts of uh, experiments related to uh, physics, electronics, and uh, chemistry and civil. So all sorts of experiments can be done over here uh, in virtual format. OK, so let us begin some of the experiments. I want to uh, teach you uh, some experiments on uh, electronics, which are there in your fourth semester Calcutta University syllabus. So. Uh, just move on to this part, virtual lab, and over there you go to electronics and communication section. Let me just uh, load over here. And you can see uh, a lot of um, subdivisions are given over here that is uh, analog system, hybrid electronics, you have digital system, basic electronics. So we will be doing a uh, experiments those are from basic electronics lab so just click on this part and once it opens you can see the list of experiments uh, and can just uh, try the ones those are there in your syllabus okay so this is where the uh, list of experiments can be found so i'm just clicking on list of experiments I will be doing uh, this part, the last experiment that is a study of differentiator and integrator using operational amplifier. So click on that. It's a very good uh, place to do your uh, uh, virtual experiments. Earlier I have taught uh, multi-SIM, but that is a paid version. And you can also use Circuit Lab, that is a free version. But this over here, it is more um, easy for the students because they will get a theory part over here, whatever they wish to know about that circuit, that relevant circuit, the theory of integrator, uh, then the mathematical derivation is there. And also the circuit diagram is over here. So the entire experimental theory is fetched over here. Next, you will get the procedure as to how to perform this experiment. Okay, so you have a stepwise detailed explanation of how to solve this uh, particular um, experiment, or how to solve this particular circuit. Okay, this is an op-amp circuit and how to solve that, where the connections should be made. Everything in detail stepwise it is shown. So if you are stuck anywhere, you can just uh, go back to this section, this procedure part, and follow the steps. I hope it would be quite easy for you all. The next part is the simulation part, uh, where I will be uh, teaching you right now. This is also a very simple thing. It won't be uh, uh, in difficulty. It won't face difficulties, okay? So, integrator using OPAM. So, I have to click this part. I will be starting with the integrator circuit. So this uh, window opens up and you can see a section over here. This is the circuit part. You have the instructions over here once again, which you have seen in the procedure section. This is a place of the oscilloscope where you can see the waveform that has been generated once your circuit is complete and it is definitely in the correct order. Then only you will see the uh, figures in the, the waveform in the oscilloscope. And these are some of the knobs that you find in your oscilloscope in the lab. Over here, it is in the virtual format. You have the frequency knob over here, the amplitude part. Then you can, as you remember, I don't know whether you remember or not, that you can just change the positions of the uh, input and output uh, waveform. Those things are uh, also easily done with these three controls. Okay, so let me proceed. I'll just let you know all these uh, things once the circuit has been done. So just go through this instruction part once, and then it's very easy to draw the circuit. Okay, so just first thing you have to do is 
join this too. I will go very slow. You can pause the video and you can join accordingly. After that, you have to join this part. Then you can join this part. Just stepwise, I'm moving. After that, this part. Then nine to eight, you have to join because that is your output channel. This is the channel one, this is channel two. So the output of the op amp is being connected with channel two and the input with channel one. This is the op amp. I, I think the basics are quite clear. If, if not, just go to my video where I have separately taught about inverting op amp, non-inverting, integrator, differentiator. There are uh, a playlist is there. You just follow um, the ones which you uh, wish to know the theoretical part. Just go to that section, clear the theory part, and then move to this integrator circuit. Okay. After that, uh, connections should be made from this to this, and finally this. So this is your basic connection and just a second. So once your connection is done, uh, you can check your connection over here, then you can on this part. So just follow the, the steps in the procedure section and you can do on your own. So first check the connection, click on check connection. It is showing that my connection is right. So click okay. Move to the next section is that you have to give the value of R and this capacitance C. So I'll be taking uh, the value of R as say 10. So just light through this and make this 10. And I wanna make this as 0.1 microfarad. So these are the values that I have taken. You can take uh, as per your teacher uh, instructs you and then click on on. Once you click on on, you can see a graph being uh, generated in this oscilloscope section. So clicking on, so a graph is being generated over here. The waveform is not shown until and unless you uh, click on this uh, oscilloscope section, okay? One more thing you have to keep in mind that uh, I hope you are aware that if you give a square wave, the output would be in the format of a ramp. So just let me give uh, the input format over here, okay? Uh, suppose I wanna give input as a square wave, okay? So click on oscilloscope after clicking on square wave. And you can see a waveform has been generated. So to clearly view it, just uh, change the frequency as per your convenience. Okay, I'm making this as this, uh, that is uh, two five not not uh, hertz. This is my channel one. If I click on channel two, it will show me uh, the output. Okay, so just a second. So channel one is the square wave and channel two is the sorry it was showing my channel two output so channel one is the square wave that is the input section which i have given that is i have clicked on square wave and the output is a triangular form or you can say a ramp you know that integrators are used for ramp generated generation so uh over here you can change this uh volts per division and you have this dual mode where you can see uh, both the sections the input part and the output part and you can also uh, vary the position of the y okay as per your wish you can also vary the position of the channel two and vary accordingly these knobs as per your wish. So uh, this is the complete integrator circuit. You can also rerun this circuit uh, 
providing sine wave in place of uh, square wave in channel one. And over here, uh, you'll get a sine wave, but it would be uh, 90 degree out of phase with that of the input source, of course. So I click on oscilloscope and this is my uh, output. Let me check. So this is my input, this is my output. If I change uh, a bit the variations so that you can see the nature. So making this as, now you can see, so uh, it's actually 180 degree out of phase. So I hope it's quite clear, uh, you can do on your own. So thank you all and go back to the section uh, or the theoretical section, revise that part, do this part, send me a screenshot. And if you have any queries, then drop your queries in the chat box, okay? Or you can see this integrator or differentiator using multisim, using circuit lab. So if you want to uh, learn those, you can also write to me. Okay. Thank you all. Stay safe.